Another military controversy is looming as speculation grows about the future of Space Command's headquarters. Both Colorado senators are taking an Alabama lawmaker to task for delaying hundreds of promotions over the military's abortion rules. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at Peterson Space Force Base asking how the hold on promotions could affect missions at our local military installations and elsewhere. Scott. Well, Heather, we contacted the Defense Department earlier today and found that it doesn't track the number of military promotions at individual installations, promotions that are part of the hold that's been in place since February. And it was, it was an Alabama senator, by the way, Senator Tommy Tuberville, who, was, who enacted the hold, saying that the Defense Department should not use taxpayer dollars to pay for women in the military to travel to states with less restrictive abortion laws. Colorado Senators Bennett and John Hickenlooper fired back. Last week, seven former secretaries of the defense, Republicans and Democrats, said this block is harming, quote, harming military readiness and risk damaging U.S. national security. I'm not saying that. But they can't do anything as long as the promotion is held up. Or if they do leave, all of a sudden we've got a vacuum, a gap in the chain of command. I don't know what Senator Tuberville, I, I mean, I, I like the guy, but I don't understand what he's thinking. Senator from Utah. Now, Bennett was on the Senate floor late last night debating the issue with Utah Republican Senator Mike Lee. But no compromise was reached and no one knows when we'll see one. Now, Bennett, Hickenlooper, and Congressman Doug Lamborn agree that the abortion issue here is not and should not be a factor in whether Space Command that has been located here temporarily for the last few years should stay here permanently or move to Alabama. We are live at Peterson Space Force Base. Scott Harrison, KRDO, New Channel 13.